This could be a bad day, a very bad day. Oh, shut up! How can I read the newspaper with that deafening racket blaring out of your mouth? It sounds like a gorilla eating a log cabin! Jeez, calm down. Why do you have to get so worked up every time some insignificant event happens in the news? Because that's the way I am. Can't you just accept the fact that we're different? Like Mom always said, it takes all kinds of fruits to make Fruit Cup. We could all learn a lot from Fruit Cup. What a beautiful... Yes, fine. Now, please, I have important news to digest. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Mommy, stop oh. babying me. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm sorry, my sweet baby. Oh, now hurry or you'll miss the school bus. Oh, I'm sick of taking the bus. When can I walk to school like everyone else my age? <gasps> oh, Angel Baby, no. Oh, Honey Pumpkin, no, no, no. It's just not safe for a young boy to walk to school. Not with all the strange people that live in this neighborhood. The journey to enlightenment will not be easy. We must summon our inner being and look to it for strength and guidance. Oh, wow. Don't I know you? Um, weren't we in the fifth grade together? No, Posey. I am your inner being. So, in a way, yes, but who cares? I'm here to guide you on your path to enlightenment. The way is fraught with traps and dangers. Together, we must cross the chasm of selfishness and defeat the ogre of personal resentment. Oh, wow. And what does he represent? Oh, that's just Frankenstein. Nobody really knows what he's doing up here. Well, come on, let's get going. I'm sick of mommy bossing me around. I can walk to school if I want to. Hop to walk, walk, hop to walk, walk. I walk to school. No bus for me. This is so fun. What could go wrong? Hello, Mr. Dog. Oh, God. What do I do? Run away. No, they can smell fear. Just ignore him, and he'll ignore you. <laughs> Mommy. As you are saying, Gaze down at the tiny earth. <sighs> Feel how trivial the cares of the world are. How unimportant. We interrupt this trivial program to bring you important world news. This was an Action Cast 12 special report. We now take you live to... Keep it tuned to 99 Rocks for live coverage of tonight's Grammy Awards, featuring special appearances by Jennifer Love Hewitt, Courtney Thorne Smith, Tiffany Amber Thiessen, Melissa Joan Hart, Becca Michelle Butterfield, and Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Becca Michelle Butterfield was pretty hot, and I still have some issues with what you did last summer. Nah, eh, don't go for that crap. Hey, let me out here. I have to get some coffee before work. Ah, I'm sick of all this bad news. When is something good gonna happen? I'm sorry. I'm Andy. And a diplomatic solution would be totally dope. But so far, efforts have pretty much tanked. Hey, it's a real bummer when people can't get along. Just like some people can't get along without the crispity, crunchity, chocolatey goodness in every Kit Kat bar. For Hershey, I'm Panzer, your student network EJ, and this has been a special report. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh. When I was your age, I thought the Tonkin Golf incident was a real hoot, too. 
bullet in the shoulder wipe that smile off my face real fast. I'm concerned, Mr. Zelansky. Yeah, you would be. <sighs> and then he says, It sounds like a gorilla eating a log cabin! <laughs> Oh my God, your brother sounds so totally lame. You know who else says stuff like that all the time? David Schwimmer. Oh man, look at you. You look just like that girl in the Got Milk ads. You know, Becca Michelle Bubbity Bup. She's wearing this lab coat with nothing underneath and these glasses like she's some sort of genius and- Oh my God, did you think I was cute in that one? Did I think you were- Oh man, I- you're her, aren't you? I'm totally her. Oh, wow. I, I had no idea. I, I, I am so sorry. If I'd have known, I never would have talked to you. Sorry. Don't be silly. I hate when people think they can't even talk to me just because I'm famous. It's okay, Rolo. He's cool. Mm. You know, if you're not doing anything tonight, maybe you'd like to come to the Grammys with me? Why, you mean like you could sneak me into the balcony or... or... No, silly. As my date. Mwah. Baby! This is gonna be the best day of my life! What's going on? Shh. They're just about to raid the compound in Oregon. Oh, and they had this amazing footage of the airlift. What airlift? From the ship. You know, Dennis Rodman. Do try to stay at least two steps behind, eh? Hmm. And this is Becca Michelle Butterfield's lipstick. Lucky duck. Man, I got a ton of stuff to do before my date. Get a haircut, rent a tux. I guess I should watch one of her movies, too. Which one should I rent? Well, I recommend It's Just Like Last Summer, what with the killing and all. Hey, why don't you just split now and take the whole day off? Won't somebody notice? Nah, everyone's just gonna watch news all day. Work's pretty much canceled. Mm, but I still get paid. Yep. God bless America, land. I'm sure many of you have already overheard the honor students talking about the crisis our nation currently faces. Any student who feels that she or he needs to be with loved ones may be excused for the day. Now I'll answer any questions you might... What? Andy, help! This dog has rabies and he won't stop following me. Uh, stay over there then! Okay. What else do I do? Just keep walking. Yeah, that's good. And, and don't stop or start running. That'll make him crazier, okay? Just keep on walking. Andy, should I just keep circling the block until you come back? Andy? Places watch. Day one. What are you doing home? Do they spray your school for nerds? <sighs> Please, this Welcome is no time for personal attacks. Our very way of life is at stake. <laughs> Newsflash, Spazmire, this is no great shakes. It's just another media snow day. We grown-ups have them periodically so we can blow off work. Right, Posey? Posey? Unlike some people, Posey is taking this matter seriously. Good job, Posey. You destroyed the she-wolf of jealousy. Now... We must summon our deepest core of goodness to help us travel to the sacred city of light within. Summoning, summoning. Hmm. Ah, what the hey will take my Miata? Anyway, you'll never guess who I have a date with. Shh. Steven Spielberg is preparing to address the nation. Steven Spielberg? He isn't even a politician! It's politicians who got us into this mess, Andy. But seriously. And even though the crisis is taking place hundreds of miles away, big hearted non with donations of warm blankets and canned goods and his correspondent. 
Please pay attention. This thing's got to fit right. Except in the crotch. You can make it a little tight in the crotch. Never mind. Never mind. And join us tonight for a special <clears throat> dateline examining the roots <clears throat> of the crisis and also hidden poisons lurking in your refrigerator. <sighs> well, these will have to do. And I think we're all, you know, seeking a peaceful resolution. Hello? Hey, it's Andy. I need you to do me a favor. You're interrupting Dennis Rodman. Goodbye. Hey, 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 crap, no, don't hang up! I'm running late and the tuxedo place closes at five. Several dramatic new developments. I'd rather not, frankly. I might miss important crisis coverage. Ugh, who gives a f Please, buddy. Don't you want me, your loving freaking brother, to have the best night of his life? <sighs> Fine. Kevin! Give me the address. Kevin! Help! Oh. <gasps> Mommy, listen, there's oh, a dog following me. It's, it's Tommy, Auntie! Well, I can't understand a thing help, now, Mommy! No, listen! No, let me talk, help. Mommy! I don't have to... I have to... Penis, 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 penis. Money for liquor, which of course has become a familiar phrase during this crisis. Coming up at five. Uh, Balzac, I better get Andy's tux. Uh, Posey, if I'm not back by 5.30, take Alec Baldwin's speech to the UN, huh? Kevin, hey! Oh, hi, Natalie. Uh, what brings you out this fine evening? Oh, just handcuffing ourselves to this fence to protest the crisis. You know, with all the hunger and illiteracy in this country, should we really be wasting money on compound raids and celebrity airlifts? Ooh, did you see that footage? Ooh, wasn't it marvelous? Those Black Hawk helicopters are incredible. I know. And the infrared shots from those Sidewinder missiles? <gasps> Woo! Boom! <laughs> oh. Kevin, you got my tux? Kevin! Geeko, wherefore art thou? Decrying military action and media bias, these crackpots certainly won't have much of an impact. Ugh! Damn that kid and his douchebaggery! Hmm, they're not that far away. Posey, if Beck Michelle whatever calls, tell her I'll be back here in ten minutes, okay? I'm going to take you to this great sushi place in the Enlightenment District. You'll love it. Of course, first, you'll have to overcome the serpent of worldly attachments. I told you about that, right? Did you notice that Wolf Blitzer has put on like 10 pounds since the last crisis? Oh, I know. And did you see mm. Christian Amanpour's new jacket with like 100 pockets? There you are, you little creep. Thanks to you, I'm gonna be late for the Grammys. I was doing you a favor. There's no need to be abusive. Left hand, please. Sure. Abusive? You don't know what abusive is yet. I'm going to miss my date. Just look at the time. <gasps> Don't worry. I'll have him unlock you. <laughs> this was supposed to be the best Stop night of my know? life. Hey, you two, knock it off. How's about a little distraction so we can make our getaway? What do we want? Ronaldo! When do we want it? Ronaldo! Hey, these left wing peaceniks don't know the first thing about Fiona, man. <sighs> I'll never make it to the Grammys like this. <sighs> we gotta get these freaking cuffs off. No need for pseudo profanity. I think I see a solution right up ahead. <gasps> Crap. There's only one match left. Have you been smoking? <laughs> yes! <sighs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Huh? And then I'm gonna make dog burgers. <laughs>
and dog dumplings and d Andy. No, oh, I can't keep going. Ah! Don't stop. You'll excite the dog. It's no use. Besides, I think he's pretty tired too. Why would he wander away? Well, if he's not here, he could be anywhere. Uh, except here. You keep looking for Andy. I'll head over to the Grammys and tell his date to wait for him. If you find him, bring him there. <laughs> Claim it was a military target rather than a petting zoo. But... And I don't need to own a beach house to be happy. Good job. You've rid yourself of devotion to worldly possessions. Oh, great. Are you going to rid yourself of the Miata? Uh, I, uh, I don't have to. It's, it's leased. Hey, how you doing? Hello. I'm here to see Miss Becca Michelle Butterfield. Mm. Uh, no, 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 I'm serious. Look, I even have a tuxedo. Hello, I'm here to get married to Miss Cheryl Crow. <laughs> My name is on the list, Andy French. He's on the list. Uh, sorry about the rough stuff, but we got to keep the cycles out. It's the 43rd Annual Grammy Awards! Oh. Now, here are your hosts, the Backstreet Boys! Excellent! They're, I mean... Oh. And he's handcuffed to a what? Where did you say Andy was? I don't know, but he didn't stand you up. He really, really likes you. Oh, this is all my fault. See, we were fighting all day when we should have been making fruit cup and... <laughs> what? Oh, it's just a saying my mom used to have, you know? Now, she used to make to a fruit cup. the award and for best the pop song by the offspring of a rock legend, Becca Michelle Butterfield. You're on, Becca. Before I present this award, I'd like to talk about what we're all feeling tonight. I know the world is concerned about more important things than these dumb, silly, ass-backwards awards. Hey, hey old man. So I'd like to say to our leaders and the others whose squabbling started this crisis, some profound words spoken by a very wise mother of two. It takes all kinds of fruits to make fruit cup. <laughs> This can't be happening. Kevin? Ah! Shut up! I'm trying to watch your freaking Grammys here! That little... He steals my date and gets on TV? I can't take anymore! Ah! Andy, you did it, you did it. Yeah, I can't believe it. Yeah, you're the best. I... Hey, what happened to your hair? <laughs> Becca, I just got off the phone with the president, and you know, I think your remark really hit home. Thanks, but most of the credit belongs to my friend here. Wow, David Schwimmer. I'm a huge fan. Oh, thank you. Yes. Hey, y'all, look at here. The geopolitical tides are returning. Expect a peaceful settlement by midnight. Sources credit actress Becca Michelle Butterfield and her call for sanity at tonight's Grammy Awards for kickstarting the negotiations. A courageous actress and her impassioned remarks heal an embattled nation. Yeah, the reward the president promised Dennis his very own White House intern. Number six, not in my fruit cup, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now that things are back to normal, here's Fritz with the weather. Get out those umbrellas, because thunderstorms are expected tonight. <laughs> uh. 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 
You've reached the final level. Are you ready for enlightenment? Oh, yes, I... Oh! Oh, what's that? What is that noise? Concentrate, Posey. It cannot be revealed unless... Oh! Oh, I can't! It's so loud! Oh, for Pete's sake, here. Oh, oh, hi, Auntie. Sorry, Posey. I wake you up? Oh, no, not at all. Are you okay? Why are you chained to a fence? And what happened to your hair? Ugh. I'll tell you in the morning. I'm gonna go take a bath. Hey, how are the Grammys? Oh, they were okay. I met Patrick Stewart and Gordon Whitefoot, I think. It was great. <laughs> oh, um, Becca asked me to give this to you. Andy, I had one of the most exciting nights of my life, and I owe it all to you. So, uh, thanks. I'm proud to be in this crazy fruit cup with you. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> sure, Kev. No problem. Andy, I found this backstage and thought you'd get a kick out of it. For lifetime achievement in the recording industry, Quincy Jones. <laughs> well, I'm off to another awards ceremony, this time to get a prize myself. You don't have any plans to be in Stockholm next week, do you? Peace, Becca. Främsta farsen par för mänskliga rättigheter. Frickin Becca Michelle Butterfield. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone who made this possible, especially Steve, Tommy, my agents at ICM, Justin at Brentwood Fitness, you're the best, and I couldn't have done it without Andy and Kevin's mom. Oh, and to Shimon Perez, you deserved it, but better luck next year. I love you, Stockholm! A Bill Oakley, Josh Weinstein production. 